I picked the Georgia Bulldogs. Okay, with that schedule makes sense. Be- because one, I don't know if they're going to lose a game ever again. And two, their schedule. Three, their roster. All right. Brock Bauer's still there. Malachi Starks, probably the best safety in the country. You have NFL talent running around on this field. And look, they're the three peats in, in the conversation. I know you lost Stetson Bennett, who was above mediocre, unless you ask Barrett Sally, then he's walking on water. All right, but I'm going Georgia Bulldogs here. I feel like this, you can pick anybody out of this list, obviously. Florida State. This is a really good Florida list. State, right now, ranked in the top five coming in the year. Ohio State always has cats running around that field. USC, Caleb Williams, you did lose Jordan Addison. You lost some pieces. And that's the questions about USC is their defense. But one, the weak spot when it comes to Georgia, I wouldn't even say the weak spot. The spot that you don't know when it comes to Georgia is their quarterback position. So I can see why you'd want to go with Michigan because you have a guy in there that can tr- you trust, who know that can get you to where you need to be to be playing for the right games in the right moments. You got Jordan Travis coming back for the Florida State Seminoles mm-hmm. and, the, and the talent on that roster. Ohio State always has a guy at quarterback. Then you have Caleb Williams. But I'm going to go with the Georgia Bulldogs here be, because of just the entire roster in a whole is just a, basically a, a, a subpar NFL roster. I agree with you. This column right here, I think, is the one where every team in here could be a double-digit win team. So you look at Georgia, especially with that schedule and just the machine that Kirby Smart has built. Look, they can go undefeated and win their third straight title. At this point, I just wouldn't be shocked. But starting a new quarterback, and Todd Monken has left now the offensive coordinator to the Ravens. Mike Bobo's come back in. You know, maybe is there a little bit of complacency after winning back-to-back natties? It's hard to stay that hungry three years in a row. I think five, the same man. thing with the Buckeyes. The Buckeyes could go undefeated and win the national championship every year. That's that's no the kind of program. No one would be surprised by But you're C.J. Stroud getting replaced. You just say him, the number two overall pick. So both of those teams do not return a quarterback. The other three do. Southern California with the Heisman Trophy winner, Obviously, Caleb Williams. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're going to be looking at a double-digit win season for them. But keep in mind, they're going to have to go on the road this year to play Notre Dame. They're going to have to go on the road to play Oregon. And then you still have Utah, Washington, and UCLA at home. Not easy. Uh, you know, and then on the Florida State thing, 10 wins last season. They returned their quarterback, one of the favorites to win the Heisman Trophy. But you open with LSU. So so, yeah, I am going to take the Michigan Wolverines here because they return J.J. McCarthy, and they also do not have a daunting schedule. You're going to go on the road to Penn State. You're going to go on the road to Michigan State. You can always lose those two games. And, look, the Buckeyes can beat you anywhere, but at least you get them in Ann Arbor. But for the most part, this what I've been saying is, look, it's time for Jim Harbaugh. He's gotten over the biggest humps he's needed to these past two years and beating his biggest rival, winning the conference, and making the college football playoff. But the record is not good in December and January. So it's time for him to go you know, have a national championship team uh, returning in Ann Arbor. So I'm going to take Michigan and maybe let's see. You know, they had a, that undefeated regular season a year ago. Maybe repeat that. Column B, LSU. Oh, this was tough. Alabama, two SEC right off the bat. LSU, Alabama, who are going to play each other in Tuscaloosa. Clemson, Texas, and Utah. Who do you want from this one? I'm going with the Utah Utes, babe. You go with Utah? I'm going with Utah, and I'm going to tell you why. One, LSU and Bama, it's hard to live in the SEC West. All right? Every year it's hard. They're going to be phenomenal teams, obviously, but it's hard to live there. Clemson, still a lot of questions. All right, Still a lot of questions. I know you're in the ACC, and I know it's usually down, but still, these Clemson teams haven't looked the same that we're used to seeing from a Dabo Sweeney coach team, especially at the receiver position. Um, we'll see with Cade. Cade Clubnick's a quarterback, if I'm correct. Um, we'll see how Cade plays. I don't think he played terrible last year at the end of the year, but I feel like he played okay. Um, Texas, still a lot of questions when it comes to Texas. Queen Ewers obviously coming back. Um, their receiver core is going to be one of the top of the nation, but still when it comes to Texas, I get worried about that defense. But Utah, one, you bring Cam Rising's coming back, right, which is huge for them. Two, the style of football that Utah plays in the Pac-12 conference, no one else does it really. Or no one else does it that high of a level. Obviously, you have USC, high-flying offense, mm-hmm. can drop 50-plus points on you any time. Defense is mediocre. Yep. You Ooh, go to Utah, yeah. they are soft. Utah is the only team in the Pac-12 that's going to show up and say, hey, I'm about to punch you in the face for four quarters. This isn't going to be a first, uh, a, a two-round fight. This is going to be a 15-round fight, and we're going to test each other's will. We're going to run downhill at you. All right, and then we're going to stuff you at the line of scrimmage. Let's see, let, let's see how you react from this. So that's why I'm going with Utah. 
I think I think Utah, I was leaning a little bit to USC winning this conference. But I'm always worried about USC when it comes to the defensive side of the ball. Mm-hmm. You have to. I think Alex Grinch will get it right sooner or later. It takes time. But Utah is ingrained. Their head coach has ingrained in that program toughness, toughness, strength, and the will to leave it all on the field. You know how much I like this Utah team. For sure. This Utah program and what they've been able to do out in the Pac-12 back-to-back seasons and the way they're doing it, everything you said is right on. But I'm telling you what, man, that schedule, first of all, you're going to start with Florida. I think they win against Florida at home. But then you have Baylor on the road. You have Oregon State on the road. Southern Cal on the road, Washington on the road, and then Oregon and UCLA still come to you. It is it's it is a tough schedule. Then I wanted to pick LSU because we were talking about, um, uh, you know, they return, they return a lot of, of, of great players. And you're talking about a team that went to the SEC championship last season in Brian Kelly's first year. I think that I think LSU is is primed to have a, a great season. They're gonna win the West. <sighs> They could they 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 may win the West. I'm still working through that. Okay. But here's my thing. You're in the SEC West. You're in the SEC West, and yeah. you open with one of the best teams the ACC has to offer with. Got with you. that being game. said, you're talking about just dropping one or two wouldn't be able to win you this column here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Clemson. I mean, that's I'm gonna pick Clemson. Choice. Let me just talk about the schedule here real quick. At Duke, all right, Charleston Southern, Florida Atlantic. Then you get Florida State. So, yeah, they still have to play Florida State, but they get them at home, and then they get an, uh, uh, an ACC schedule, except for the end when they'll get their arch rival. But you go to Syracuse, you got Wake Forest. They go on the road to Miami, which is going to be very interesting, on the road to NC State. They get Notre Dame, again, at home, though. They get Notre Dame at home, and then Georgia Tech, North Carolina at home, and they will go on the road to the South this Carolina Gamecocks. This schedule is sneaky to me. Mm. This is a, a sneaky schedule to me. This is in the, in the words of DeMar- uh, DeMarcus Cousins. This ain't gonna be a walk in the no, park. No, Notre Dame's gonna be good. Here. Florida. You got you go to my you go to Syracuse, which has never been an easy win for Clemson. Mm-hmm. I mean, we talk about a Syracuse team that was beating them at halftime. I believe last year, or the year before that. They, then you go to a Miami team that we don't know. We don't know with Miami. Mm-hmm. Okay, they can be the best team in the nation or the worst team in the nation. He's a huge crystal ball guy. You know, he's always been. But we'll see with Miami. NC State's a tough out on the road, an extremely tough out on the road. UNC. Drake May, I mean Drake May right now. If it's me, I think Drake May is the best quarterback in college football. I I don't think that's crazy. I mean Caleb Williams, you still have to give the nod to, but I think Drake May could win the Heisman Trophy. And I understand what uh, what naysayers on this pick will say with Cade Klubnick, and he's unproven, and you have more proven quarterbacks returning in this column. But Clemson has just proven to me there's a trust factor to it. Their worst season, they're winning ten games. I would feel good about that with picking them in this column. We got Tom Luganbill. From ESPN on the line. Luke's? You want to get Lugs in and see what he thinks? Uh, maybe get his picks on this? Absolutely. You know what else is looking good? Tell me. You and me and anyone else in the Booster Club who has been using Genucel Skin Care. And we've been hearing from them. Booster Club, y'all have really shown up. I would encourage you not to stop that. Did you know our friends at Genucel have upgraded their most popular package to feature their top selling deep firming vitamin C serum plus ultra retinol moisturizer with natural retinol alternative. Right now, you can take advantage of this limited time package upgrade for 70% off. Not 7% off, okay? 70% off. Why waste time and money to get work done to your face when you can get Genucel skincare shipped right to your door? Here's a Genucel.com review. This is from Robert in Texas. I purchased Genucel as a gift for my girlfriend. She said she saw the results so fast. Her skin is noticeably softer and smoother. And here's another Robert. review right here. Here's another review right here from a flaming dragon in Nashville. Buy it now. Do it okay? now. Go to Genucel. Genucel.com slash booster, B-O-O-S-T-E-R, and try Genucel's most popular package. That's the one I got for not only my wife, but also my mother. That should tell you all you need to know. And that's 70% off featuring both Genucel's Ultra Retinol and Genucel's Firming Serum. Get a complimentary spa essentials box with every package order, plus free upgrade to priority shipping. That's right, you're a priority. That's geniusell.com slash booster, B-O-O-S-T-E-R. We have created a little college football grid pick em here. I was hoping maybe I could run through these columns and you give me one team from each column that you think will have the most wins and you add up all five teams at the end of the season and let's see how we do. What do you think? All right. Yeah, let's all right. do it. Let's roll. Column A, Georgia, Michigan, Florida State, 
You got the Ohio Buckeyes and Southern California. Who do you like to have the most wins this season from that column? Georgia. Okay. My, my, my son's JV team at, at Weddington High School to play that schedule. Uh, they, they may be on that schedule. <laughs> they might be on that schedule. <laughs> right. But, you know, I had to hear this about Michigan last year, and I took my lumps when Pollock and, and stuff would come on. But, you know, in all fairness, Georgia was supposed to play Oklahoma in that game. Got True. canceled. So you, you, you fill in with who you can. All right, column B here quickly. LSU, Alabama, Clemson, Texas, Utah. Clemson. Clemson. All right, he's going with me with Clemson. C. We got Penn State, Penn State, Oregon, Washington, Notre Dame, and Kansas State. Penn State, Washington, Oregon, Notre Dame, and Kansas State. Um, I'm gonna go with Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Really? Very interesting pick. A little thought process there on that one, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I, um, I just, I have a real deep belief in what Sam Hartman brings to a football team. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think that, I, I just think that they're going now in year two under Marcus Freeman. Everything's established. Everything's set. I, I just of the other teams you referenced in that column. I probably would say that I feel best about the quarterback. I saw Kansas State in the Sugar Bowl. I like them. Their quarterback's not Sam Hartman, okay? Mm -hmm. Penn State, Drew Aller, I think is going to be really, really good. Hasn't played a lot of football, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to be really good, and they play in the Big Ten West. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to default to Notre Dame because I think the quarterback position is really important. I like that pick. I also really wanted to go with Washington here. You know, with Michael Penix yeah. Jr. coming back, I think they're going to be good, but you're looking at that schedule. They're going to have road games at Southern Cal, at Oregon right. State. You get Utah and Oregon at home, and they have to go on the road to Michigan State. I don't expect Michigan State to be great, but I'm still I'm going to take Penn State in this. I know what you said about playing okay. in the Big Ten West, but they've proven, uh, like, what they've proven, James Franklin said, I'm going to beat all the teams I'm supposed to beat, right? Uh, now, they may lose to Michigan, and they may lose to the Buckeyes this season, but that would still equal 10 wins. And I think sure. we're looking at a column here where 10 wins would would be fair to get out of that. Yeah. No, I I, I think that's totally fair. And and, and not to uh, get off point here, but with, with Washington and their schedule, and mm. and I know you, 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 know, you talk about playing off the road and this and that, I was listening to your guys' comments as I was waiting to come on. You guys seem to be the only other rational minds discussing college football that will acknowledge that USC stinks in every facet except for their offense. 100%. I expect they them to be better on defense. On defense. But, yeah. They're, 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 they got poor players in the defensive front. They actually have pretty poor players in the offensive front. The mm -hmm. quarterback's so friggin' good, he's, he's the <laughs> ultimate eraser. Right? He, so... But, like, I'm with you guys. Like, I, I like Washington. I do think the schedule's daunting. I think the best football team in that league is Utah mm -hmm. with the most difficult schedule in that league, mm -hmm. which to me is a little bit uh, concerning. But I, not to get off point, but I, I wanted to acknowledge that finally somebody is willing to say that despite Lincoln Riley arriving in Los Angeles, SC has some real issues on their roster. And their defense should have been like should have been worse than what they were last year. Mm. You, they got well, an absurd well, yeah, amount of turnovers. Around. The balls were just falling in their hands yep. last year. So, and if that I don't, didn't happen, they would have yeah. been. They, oh. they were a six and six football team without that quarterback. I believe that a hundred percent. But you would think, right? You would think with Alex Grinch and the transfer portal and as many guys that. There's no way they don't improve, right? It's hard for USC not to improve a little bit. On defense? On defense, USC's yeah. going to be better on defense. They I'm, have to be. I yeah. mean, it's almost impossible I, not to be. There are too many athletes I that they can get. I think they'll be better. I think they'll be better, but I'll say this. You brought up the point. When you have one of those years where the turnovers just come your way, that mm -hmm. never gets duplicated. Never. It, it, it's one of those deals. It's like the whole stupid uh, turnover chain at Miami. That thing yeah. happened one time, one time, <laughs> and the whole thing went downhill the moment that season ended, and that's yeah. a little bit concerning to me, too. Well, um, I'm, who are you I'm, taking from I'm State? taking Kansas State. You are going to go Kansas State. Yeah, one, really? I like I, I right. their schedule. Um, and I believe in what well, I – I almost go back to the Utah thing with this. It's the way Kansas State plays football. And I, I know you yeah. lost 
Uh, I know you lost. Uh, I mean, little man. I know he's an absolute stud. He's got to probably go Deuce ball Vaughn. out. For, go ball out for the Cowboys. Yeah. Such a cool video watching his dad get that phone call. Yeah. Um, calling him. But I like Kansas State. I like Will Howard. I like the way they play football. They're a running team, and they're not afraid to hit you in the mouth on defense. And you look at their schedule, right? There's obviously it's not going to be an e- easy walk in the park here. We know that you have to go to Texas on the road. Never an easy win. Oklahoma State on the road. We'll see how Oklahoma State this year. Texas Tech, we have the head coach from Texas Tech on the show. They're going to be pretty good. But I think the way Kansas State is, is built, all right, they'll, they're built to almost have another 10 win season. Yeah. All right, so I believe in that. Washington, Pac 12 is tough. It is I, don't believe, tough. I don't believe in Notre Dame. I believe in, I, I, I believe in Sam, all right? But I don't believe in Notre Dame. I they think have, Notre Dame's going to be good. They have to man. prove it to me. <laughs> all well, right. And maybe they will. And maybe they will. That's the same thing with Texas and Column B. We were kind of skipping over that. But um, yeah. I'm done with the Kansas State doubting thing. Their fans came after me for blood last year, and they yeah. were right. But here's the thing, though, that you got to acknowledge about Kansas State. And this isn't a negative, but they're a developmental program, right? Mm. And, which means that when you have a great player that's either a redshirt senior or a fourth year senior, and you lose that guy, it's not like Alabama or Georgia, and you just replace him with the same guy. It's a developmental program. So they're bringing guys along at a slower rate than other people are. So their losses can have a bit of a more significant impact from a talent perspective. And on top of it, they won a lot of close games, guys. And I yeah, think that's true. Winning, that's true. winning one possession games, winning games on the road, one possession games on the road, Again, that's another thing that's hard to duplicate. Can they do that again? Yeah, that's true. Right. I was got two lanes down on that schedule. Yeah, two lane. Lost the two lane last yeah, year. No two kidding. more. Two more <laughs> columns here. So we got uh, column D. That's Oklahoma, Tennessee, Wisconsin, Texas A and M, and North Carolina. Tom. Oh my God, that might be the toughest one yet. Really, you think so? Uh, it's, it's tough. This I struggle with. This this one was pretty easy for me actually. All right, give them to give them, give them to me again. Give them to me. Again. All right, Oklahoma. Tennessee, Wisconsin, Texas A&M, and North Carolina? Uh, Tennessee. You're going to take Tennessee with Joe Milton starting oh, at quarterback. Tom. Well, okay, you're right. I forgot who their quarterback was. I <laughs> well, that, no, 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 no. No, sell it with confidence, Hey, buddy. he can throw it really hard. Hey, you by can't the way, do that. You see, have, you seen, have you seen that thing on Instagram? The Where video the thumb, in the office? The video of him, yeah, that he's like 10 feet away from a kid, goes at 100 miles an hour and misses him. Uh, yeah, like, actually, if there's time, could y'all pull that video? Um, that if there's Joe any time Milton, to pull that, that back there, to a T. Joe Milton's entire career. That is it, exactly. He threw a fastball really at this. Guy. I will not hit the broad side of a box. <laughs> it was no. like it was uh, like when um, they had Anthony Richardson at pro day and he threw it so high it hit the ceiling and everyone was like, Anthony Richardson just hit the ceiling oh, of the indoor with God. the football. And I yeah. said, that's an incompletion. It's like, yeah, that's exactly. the worst pass I've ever seen in my life. It's incomplete. It's, thank you. Thank but, you. Exactly. Okay, either way, so hold on a second. Tennessee. I've got to rethink this. You're right. Okay. This okay. is a hard one. The problem is. I don't want Tennessee fans coming after me now. I've, I've changed look, Tom's look, mind. Oh, uh, the Tennessee fan base. Oh, my goodness. You talk about sponsored by Kleenex. Uh, wow, Tom throwing heat on oh, here today. Like, <laughs> I'm about everything, man. It's like, come on. Just like, come on. Just, oh, geez, oh anyway, Tom, so. I missed you. So, uh, um, I don't like, I don't think Wisconsin's very talented, right? I, I think North Carolina stinks on defense. I would totally agree that uh, it's an absolute difference maker, top five, top three pick overall. Um, the total wins, God, maybe it is North Carolina. Oh, God. That's a tough one. You said it was an easy one for you. you it is for me, but hold on. You Are you on the North Carolina I'm train? I'm on the North Carolina. All right, go ahead. Hop on there. All right, I'm on the North Carolina train here. One. You want to talk about bad defense. Whatever the hell we saw the Oklahoma football team try to do <laughs> last year, I don't know what oh, that I was. I wouldn't even consider Oklahoma. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Their quarterback's right. average. Their quarterback is average. 100%. I be wow. I'm surprised if Jackson, if Jackson Arnold ends up being their quarterback. 100%. Really? We've already had, look, look, Tom's already said it. We've all said it. I believe in the snuff of before I believe in Joe Milton. All right? I promise you that. <laughs> He's one of those guys who gets on the mound you're on the you're on, you're in the batters you're you're on deck getting warmed up. Who's sewn at like 108? Who has no idea yeah. where it's going? <laughs> it is deathly yeah, terrifying. No it's deathly no, yeah. terrifying. See, you're a receiver. You have no idea. Wisconsin. And you know, top, what, you know what's ahead. staggering, guys, about it? You know what's staggering? Is he's no different than Anthony Richardson. Yet for some reason, everybody thinks Anthony Richardson 
is the greatest thing since pocket t-shirts. Mm. Exactly. I do not I, understand it. I don't it, get it. It, it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Wisconsin, I believe with Tom, I don't think they're going to be super talented. I think Luke Fickle's going to do a good job. Mm. All right, but I still, Luke Fickle needs time. Mm-hmm. All right? Texas A&M, don't believe in it. Don't no. believe in it until they show me. I don't care if you sign Thank 55 you. stars, all right, or if Zeus comes down from the heavens to play tight end from. Wow, me. really? All right, Gotta Jimbo win. Fisher win. has to prove he can win the games he's supposed to win. Texas A&M Thank should you. be a dominant football team with the amount of money they have. Mm. They yeah, should, I'm all right, and they're not. There's something missing. But I'm going with the boys, the boy Drake May, from North Carolina. I know He's you really lose, good. I know you lose Josh Downs <laughs> to the NFL, who's a huge piece. But this kid, man, f- there's something about him. He's just different mm-hmm. to me. Oh, I've he's nev- legit, I've dude. never felt I've never saw him be sped up. I've never saw him be out of tempo. I've never saw the pressure crack this kid. And I know, I know the defense is going to be terrible. We all know that. But I feel like the schedule for them is doable. All right. Yeah. South Carolina week one is going to be a hell of a game. Mm-hmm. All right. But you got to go to Clemson, to NC State. I don't feel like Clemson will be good, but I feel like it will be a football game. I feel like Drake May this year in close games can get you over the top. I still think Drake May could win the Heisman this year. And 100%. To do so, he needs to get to nine wins at least, kind of like the Robert yeah. Griffin year at Baylor. But yeah. I'm going to take the Wisconsin Badgers from this college. Really? We talked about Luke Fickle coming in year one. Look at the job he did at Cincinnati. You have Phil Longo from North Carolina coming in to run the, uh, to run the yeah, offense. Yeah, but how are they going to run that offense with those athletes? It is going to take some time, but you bring in Tanner Mordecai, the quarterback from SMU. But here's the biggest point. Can I just read you this schedule, Tom? Please hear me Uh out on Wisconsin's schedule. First of all, playing (laughs) – yeah, worse than that, playing in the Big Ten West to start. You start with Buffalo. They go on the road, but the Washington State. They get Georgia Southern at home, so that's one of their losses. Hashtag Hail Southern. You know, I'm from Statesboro, and Georgia Southern went on the road and beat Nebraska State's last done. year. Washington State's not an easy walk through either. Yeah, I'm not they, saying they it is. The Washington State. Game. They could. They could. Then they go. Yeah. They got Purdue, Rutgers, Iowa, Illinois. They play the Buckeyes at home. They got Indiana, Northwestern, Nebraska, and Minnesota. And Minnesota is on the road. They they miss Michigan completely. You know, I think the Buckeyes beat them even uh, up at Wisconsin. But I think Wisconsin can come out of this column. Go what, 10-2, and 9-3, and three, you think? 9-3? and 9-3, three? Three, Luke Fickle, year if one? If Wisconsin wins nine games this year, I will jump in, in the Arctic. Are you, guys, are you guys forgetting the Big Ten West last year? I had Purdue winning the Big Ten West and thought they would do so by winning nine or ten games. They they did win the Big Ten West, but it was ugly. Well, are we talking about winning the Big Ten West, or are we talking about uh, the amount of wins altogether here? Well, that's part of it. Well, you in have order to, play. to win the Big Ten West, you'd have to win at least nine. Maybe. I don't know. What Purdue? Did Purdue win seven last year? Yeah. But either way, I, that's an interesting column. We'll move on to the last one here, this which one is – This one was tough to me. I don't know. TCU, Auburn, UCLA, Nebraska, and Miami. Good luck. (laughs) TCU, Auburn, UCLA, Nebraska, and Miami. Yep. UCLA might have a true freshman starting at quarterback. Nebraska took the worst quarterback in the transfer portal and apparently did not watch any film of him prior to taking him. Um, uh, Miami. Yeah, it's definitely not Auburn, Tom. We all know that. not it's not it's not Auburn. Not until not until we see what happens at quarterback. Yeah. Oh boy, this is a hard one, man. This is yeah. This is the most difficult one. I will say, of all the teams in that column that you guys just brought up, the team with the best athletes. I'm not saying best football team. The team with the best athletes is Miami. And if Tyler Van Dyke gets back on track. Mm-hmm. They're the team. That's what I have as well. I have Miami from that one. Here's their schedule. Miami of Ohio. Texas A&M comes to them this year. Bethune-Cookman at Temple. Georgia Tech home. On the road to North Carolina. They do get Clemson at home. Virginia at home. Then on the road to NC State. On the road in Tallahassee Mm. for Florida State. Louisville at home. And then Boston College on the road. Mm. I like Miami out of this column. Yeah. I don't like saying it, but I I think that's the call. I'm going UCLA. Tell me why. I like this Dante Moore kid. 
Um, this, well, so this, do I, but it's, yeah, this, I know. I mean, look, like, it's a gamble. It's a gamble. One, yeah. TCU, I think TCU is going to be a letdown this year. Obviously, after the magical year they had last year, I refuse to pick Auburn. I refuse. Do it. No, I think Auburn's going to win six games, maybe, <sighs> if they're lucky. All right. Nebraska, don't believe in it. <sighs> I don't believe nope. in it. I, 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 just, I, I, think, Matt, I think Matt. I think Matt will do an okay job, but he still needs more time. Miami. I mean, yeah, best athletes, but they're an absolute. They had phenomenal athletes last year. And it was an absolute trash factory. I feel like they gave up halfway through the season. Uh, and Mario Cristobal. Mario better prove something this year. Everyone gassed yeah, up Mario Cristobal like when he went to Miami, <laughs> like he was walking on water, and hell, he can't even beat Duke. Okay, so I don't want to hear anything. UCLA. The reason I picked him is because of Chip Kelly. Mm -hmm. That's why I picked UCLA. Chip, okay. and Chip doesn't get enough credit for what Chip's done to the game of football. Like, this dude is an absolute wizard when it comes to offense. All right, it is. And I know yeah. you lost uh, your running back and you lost DTR, but I feel like the way Chip handles uh, even a young kid, a freshman, a five-star, he can maneuver, he can pick things up and move things in his brain to get him the right spot on the football field and to make the right throws. Schedule's not great. It's not easy. The Pac-12 is going to be pretty damn good this year. But I believe in Chip Kelly more than I believe in these other teams in E. YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel, share with five friends, and also check out our daily show in the mornings from 7.30 to 9 Eastern. See you there.